Okay, so I want to make a quick video on how to delete your brakes. There's two different ways you could really do it. Uh, honestly, there's only one way that I think it should be done, but I'm gonna go over that. And then I want to show all the plugs and connections that supposedly this Bluetooth dongle is supposed to plug into. Now this isn't Far Driver, this is a different one from Amazon, but I'm gonna show you there's nowhere to plug this in. The only other plug, and this is a four pin, there's a six pin coming from the motor, and this is supposed to plug directly into the controller. So I'll show you a close up view and kind of go over all those parts. So before I start this video, I just want to say this is entertainment purposes only and informational. Do not do what I do and uh, do not try to mimic me, copy me. It could result in uh, definitely avoiding your warranty and could mess up your bike and or cause harm, you know, all that stuff. This is just for entertainment purposes and information. So first thing is wiring in here. As you can see, there's no place for a four pin to plug in. And the wiring harness goes down into your controller down here. There's one that goes into your horn. Um, there's nowhere that has a plug. It's supposed to be a four prong coming off of this to be able to plug it in. There isn't. The only other empty plug is coming off the motor. And I'm not plugging it into this because I'm not about to fry my motor um, sending the wrong signal. This is the other one. Now this one goes from the motor up into here and plugs in to this into the controller. So the way they did their wiring, that, that's how it works. And uh, there's no other plug. So as you can see, there's no other plug that's tucked up in here. There's nothing besides this other one, this other six pin. Um, yeah, so, and that's coming from the motor. The plug for the far driver is supposed to come from here. So I can only think that they changed out this wiring harness and left that plug out. So I would have to get a factory wire harness to uh, program this controller. Now I might be wrong. There might be something that I'm missing here. So if I am and you're a specialist in, the, specialist in this, let me know. But as far as I can tell, I'd have to buy a factory harness for uh, this controller and be able to uh, you know, plug in that factory one to get that dongle to work. But then I don't know if it would plug the motor right. So I have no clue. I'm out of my depth here. So this is, uh, this is a step I'm gonna have to work on another day, on to brakes. Okay, I need to explain this real quick before I go into any detail. Basically, on your brakes, you have your reservoir straight to your brakes that goes down to your caliper. That's, that will always work as long as you don't mess with that wire. That's fine. What, what we're messing with is this wire. This is the sensor. This is your brake sensor to your motor, and I'm gonna show how that works. So with it in place, if I turn the throttle, the back tire is gonna spin, okay? Now, if I press the brake, which is the front brake, so it won't stop that tire from rolling. If I press this brake and I spin it, nothing will happen. And I'm even getting a warning that something's, something's going on. So if I spin it and I press it, kills the motor, no more throttle. Notice it's not speeding up, nothing. I have it wide open, motor's not turning, okay? Now, if I delete the brakes, which means unplug it from the controller or somehow get rid of this switch, um, which I'm gonna I have to press it because of the type of switch it is. Um, but if you take that out, now I can turn the throttle and pull the brake and notice I can keep giving it some more, some more power. So every time I give it power, it just keeps spinning, right? But I'm pulling that front brake, nothing's happening. Now if I pull the back brake, it'll stop. But that's what this is doing. It's sending that signal in there and it's telling the, the motor, hey, the brake's been pulled, Stop giving it any power and uh, it shuts it off till you let it go. So option one, you already saw it. You undo this screw under here and remove this. Now you're gonna have to figure out a way to keep this little plunger pushed down so it thinks the brake hasn't been pulled and then you can tie it and tuck it away somewhere uh, and you're good. Or um, I guess you could cut this and you might have to somehow figure out that the signal's being made. Um, I'm not cutting this off, it's just, it's just too much. But you could do that, you can, you know, zip tie it, tuck it up under here, it's real easy. Um, or you can do the second method. Now for the second way you can delete your brakes so you don't have to mess with the handlebars or anything, you can just unplug these two right here, these two white ones, that's your brakes. Now I already labeled it front and rear, so it's super simple, you just undo them. And if you wanna go a step further, you can undo the whole thing and just uh, remove these wires if it's something you don't want. But I don't wanna mess with that, uh, I'm just gonna tuck them in right here, close this back up, and then it'll, uh, it'll work as a brake delete. The method I chose was disconnecting in here so nothing looks off. I didn't have to tape or worry about the tape coming undone. 
on that little thing right there. So if I turn the throttle, see the motor spins, and then when I press the brake, it still gets power. So no matter how much I tap it, the front or the rear, well, if I tap the rear, it's obviously gonna lock it up, right? But if I tap the front brake, nothing happens. So now that that's done, I can move on to start uh, trying to wheelie this bike. Now, I, I wanted to speak about that. Uh, I did make some comments that this bike will be unable to, to wheelie. I, I'd like to take that back. It's gonna be hard to wheelie this bike because of the power. It doesn't have the power of some of the bigger bikes or even like uh, my dirt bike. My dirt bike, you just turn a throttle and it throws it up. This one, you're gonna have to do a good push and pull to get that front end up. So uh, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna try and get that on video and put that for everybody. Now I wanted to go over an error code that I am getting and I haven't figured out how to, how to solve it. And that is, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in on the screen. Everything's plugged in. You saw everything's nice, tight connections. Let me show you the screen and what's happening. Okay, so we're about to make error code 24 come on. I think that's this. And that's not the brake sensor failure. So uh, error 20, uh, five is going to be your brake failure and that means you know that's not returning to position which could happen if you d decide to tape that little plunger um, or it's not connected i'm getting a hail failure which is saying that it's a motor hail or misconnected un unconnected wires um, i don't have any of that i've double checked all the wires on this bike everything is connected properly um, the only time this happens is when i honk the horn and so i'll show you we have it on take it out of park and I'll honk the horn. Now, if I hit the throttle and honk the horn, we get about three honks. So I'm gonna turn the throttle on. I'm gonna have to mute it because the honks will be loud. So we got about five. I mean, I was doing just, just barely turning the throttle. But you see air 24, that's not gonna go away until I stop the tire. So until the bike completely comes to a stop, now it's, uh, it's working again. So. I don't know what's going on, but I just know that if I honk the horn too many times, that happens. So if I get uh, at a dead stop, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so I got 13 out of it. So it's some kind of surge probably happened from you know the controls into the controller, but I got 13 honks. It gave me the code, but since it's not spinning, it went right away. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a good bit of power on this one and give a hard throttle. Let's see, one, two, three. That's it. So I got three and it won't go away. Now when I press the brake and stop the motor, it's gone. So I just want to go over that. If you get that, that error, I have no clue what that is, but uh, just stop your bike, turn it back on. And it only happens when I over, you know, honk the horn. So that's super strange. I don't know what's going on. Um, I, don't, I don't want to have to trace wires, but everything's connected. Everything's plugged in. This happens with the brakes connected or the brakes disconnected. So, um, yeah, if anybody knows what's going on, go ahead and comment that and help me out. But I just wanted to go over that real quick. All right, so we're all done. We went over the controller and all the connections, how to do a brake delete, how the brakes actually work. So I hope this has helped somebody. Um, if I stated something wrong, please help me. Put it in the comments. Um, I'm still learning again, guys, with the different terms and stuff of e-bikes. But... Uh, you know, that's that's pretty much it for this little tutorial video. I will have a video coming out soon of a quick ride to Rotary Point. Now, it is a longer video, but it's not a lot of talking. It's mainly just zipping around town, just an eco. But I will get those numbers for eco and sport. J purely riding eco and sport, get some range numbers and kind of see how long we can make the battery last and then how fast we can drain it. Also, another video coming is I'm going to start doing wheelies on this bike. So um, we're gonna you know, attempt that and see how that goes and try to video that process as well. So um, until next time, thanks for watching the video and uh, you know, thank everybody from day one or if you're a new follower, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.